Roll up! Roll up! Welcome to Art Swarm episode 21. We're going to showcase some fantastic, new, amazing, incredible premieres of art, music, and, well, weirdness you've not seen before, all on a theme of the circus. And we're going to begin with an act of pure entertainment and animation by Robert Burgess. So now for my piece, this is a musical experiment. It's a monologue, it's a dialogue and uses a new form of creativity where I wanted to use the instrument as though it were part of your body, just letting it express in one single way how you're feeling at the moment. It's sort of a way of uh, sort of like communicating directly using the instrument. Um, it became a piano piece which is rather sad and dark and it seemed to remind me of the character of Piero which I thought was perfect for this episode so I made a simple video to accompany that. And now an imaginative and fantastic tale of bog bodies and their visit to the circus by Lavinia Murray. Uh, Lavinia's led quite an amazing life and she even trained as a clown with Blackpool Circus and performed in the ring and trained as a robotic dancer as well and was quite adept at walking and jumping on stilts even blindfolded. So that's one small part of her incredible output as an artist. Circus Circus. All the bog bodies got up from wherever they happened to be lying and made their way to the circus. 
Actually, it was an ancient oak tree that had snagged so many doggy crap sacks and single-use plastic flitters it had become a domed tent, a circus tent. Eventually, the bog bodies tumbled inside it from every direction and began rehearsing for the show. And when the show was ready, when the circus event was about to happen, you could see the bog bodies trembling with nervousness. The clowns were moist and leathery and flopped about a lot. One bog body wore two bog bodies on their feet to make the long clown shoes. The trapeze artists, while well, watching those, was like watching old shoes dangling from a telegraph wire. Best of all, though, best of all the acts was actually a kiosk, one of the food kiosks at the corner of the plastic tent beneath a broken branch. She had used her gumption and filled herself up with the royal icing and she'd become an icing bag and she was piping the royal icing out through the wear holes in her feet which created natural nozzles. She slid about piping patisserie products. They added finesse to a special evening. She added artistry. She added something very special. And her royal icing came in many colours. It was quite beautiful. And next, a delightful and charming little animation by Andrew Williams. This is a circus tent dappled with colours. Uh, accompanied by some music that sounds like it's from a barrel organ. Thank you. 
Now, Grim by Day is the next piece uh, written and spoken by Deborah Edgeley, and we perform this as an act of called Fall in Green. I perform the music. Um, this is a poem about Grimaldi, who was the world's first internationally famous clown, and he had a very up and down life. Chevron on each cheek, bumpy ride on the wheels of cheese. Pentaville landlord carries him home. Grim by day, bring the night, sir, please. Bumpy ride on the wheels of cheese. Dickens quill to the ticking clock. Grim by day, bring the night, sir, please. Bright coach drawn by black dogs. Dickens quill to the ticking clock. Grimaldi Gerica clown send in. Bright coach drawn by black dogs. Pulls a Drury Lane buffoon. Grimaldi Gerica clown send in. Pentonville landlord carries him home. Pulls a Drury Lane buffoon. Red chevron on each cheek. And now another circus spectacular from Robert Burgess. This is Cirque de Ozio and features lots of garden entertainers. And now from Janie Jones, a short film of a ballet dancer painting from hers. It's perfect for this thing. So pick it up. It's actually got dark hair in it. But then if you move And now the final piece from Andrew Williams. This has rather a sad, quiet mood, a bit like my Piero piece. This is all about animals which gradually fade away and it may have a second layer to do with environmental damage perhaps. It's called the circus desertion.
It was, of course, the Circus Animals Desertion. Well, that brings us to the end of a rather short Art Swarm episode 21. I hope you enjoyed that. I would love if you could send me some videos for you to showcase to the world. I mean, this programme is all about just showing things that people make. It's about having a bit of fun with creativity. That's what it's about, really. Um, the next theme is bacteria. And if you'd like to send send me something, then you can find the page on my website, markshiki.com slash artswarm.php to find out all the details of how you can create and send me something. The, only ma the main criteria is it has to be something new. It has to be something that's not seen before. That gives you the opportunity to just have a go and come up with some audio video that's experimental and strange and we've come up with some rather amazing things over the past year or so or nine months um you can keep track of art swarm on twitter art swarm at art swarm tv that's probably the best way to do it i look forward to seeing you for the next show with the bacteria theme have a lovely week okay.